Hello everyone, my name is Amara Intan Kaila and I am from 1248 and today I'm going to show you how to operate a PC game but first thing first, I think we can all agree that quarantining makes us so bored at home and even though yes, we have tons of homework, all of that exam, all of that project and it is all combining into a stressful and frustrating environment so one of my ways to relieve that stress is playing games and the first thing you want to do is turn on your computer and as you can see here I have turned on my computer and the second thing is make sure that your computer has an internet connection because when we download the game we have to be able to reach the internet connection and the game I want to talk about today is Pepper Wings. It is a game about birds. It has amazing graphic and it is also so educational uh, for kids and for us too. And the size of it is small. Uh, you can just download it into about two seconds and you will be able to play it right away. So let's just get started. For the games here, it has two modes, a single player when you want to play alone and a multiplayer when you want to play it with your friend. And the characters on Pepper Wings are birds. It has all the different kinds of birds uh, all over the world and each bird has a special skill and for the dove here, it has a magnet skill and for the pigeon here, it has a long power up. And if you click on the button here, it will show you how it will show you the description about the birds. It is educational for us. And because I like the color white, I'm going to play with the dove here. And I'm going to play on single player. And the goal of this game is to collect the coins as much as you want to buy the characters of the birds and its special skill and for the single player mode it has four modes uh, classic timer hazard and calm but for today I'm going to play the classic mode because classic is the best and you have to press the left arrow keys to move left and the right arrow keys to move right so we can just catch the coins as many as you want to and that's pretty much it Uh, thank you so much for your attention and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My, let me introduce myself. My name is Jikri Muhammad Ulhaq. I am from 12 Science Egg. My, my absent number is egg. Here I will show you how to make mangoes, mango meal egg and it's very easy. First, prepare the ingredients. There is mango syrup, ice cube, condensed, condensed milk, and water. And for the tools, I have a shaker and glass. Put sufficient of mango syrup. ice cube and condensed milk and then add water Close the milk shaker and shake.
if done, put in into a glass. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Iskia Salzakir Shah. I am from 12 FIFA 8 and my absence number is 19. Today I'm gonna show Miss and Mister how to operate a PC game. In this case also. Firstly, you need to make sure that your PC specifications is up to the task for running the game. To do that, you need to go to the control panel section of the computer, go to the, co to the system section of the control panel and see your PC specifications there. Uh, second, you need to go to the installation folder where the installation package is located and go there. Thirdly, you need to click on the installation exe package or whatever it is and run it. Fourth, uh, wait until all the installation process is done. Fifth, uh, after you've done the installation you need to run it, play with your heart's content, and then if you if you already played the game, lastly exit the game. Uh, I'm gonna show you. Control panel, system. Ah, there it is. Commands. Uh, Go to the folder. Click the installation exe. Uh, I've already installed the game, so <laughs> I think we just skip this part. After after it done, after it is done, play it and. After you've done play the game, exit it. Welcome to us. See you next time. And that's about it. Uh, that's 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 about that's about it for me. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I am Muhammad Abgi Firdaus from 1258 and my absent number is 21. Good day mate! Here I am going to talk about the best tips and tricks on how to become a good public speaker. Okay, let's move on. Firstly, you have to make sure that you have mastered all the stuff that you want to talk about. You have to dig deep, you have to do a research, you have to make sure that you have mastered all the things that you want to talk about in your speech. You have to know these meanings, you have to know that meanings, and if you are bad in memorizing stuffs, I suggest you writing down the main points that you want, that you want to talk about chronologically. Like, after this point, you're, you're going to talk about this point. Something like that. It will help you a lot, mate. And second, you have to make sure that you look good. And if you're not looking good, just try not to look messy. <laughs> you know what I mean. Okay. Third. You have to do a warm up before you walk on the stage. Usually, I'm doing this. First, it's a pronunciation warm up. I'm gonna pronounce the vowel sound but with my mouth wide open. Like A, E, U, A, O. Like, do that for 10 seconds or 30 seconds. It will help you a lot. And after that, I'm gonna do this. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I wanna buy some pizza. Because I'm so hungry, something like that. I speak, but my mouth is not really moving. It's, it will help you a lot. And after that, while you are walking to the stage, say this to yourself. I'm the best. I'm the most handsome. Old. I'm the prettiest around here, around the town. I'm going to take the world by storm. It will improve your confidence. And after and before you start your speech, don't forget to pray. 
pray a lot. You have to pray a lot. Don't forget the Lord. Because the Lord is the one who gives you strength. Without Lord, without the grant of the Lord, your effort will mean nothing. And after that, you are ready to do your speech. Good luck with your speech. Okay, so that's it for me. Cheerio. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Tiara Mystica Mitsa. My accent number is 35. Today I will share you some tips and tricks to become a good student. Let's go. from me thank you for your attention wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh hi i'm askianida from 12 science minds in this video, I would like to give you tips on how to become a successful public speaker. For the background, I've been a master of ceremony in several occasions for school to district events. Also, I've been participated on several um, news anchor contests. Even though I consider myself as someone who's confident and comfortable speaking in public, I still got nervous and I keep improving myself for a better appearance. So here's the tip. First of all, plan your speech. Think about the book's first paragraph and how important it is. If it doesn't grab you, then you would likely to put it down. The same principle goes with your speech. You have to make a great opening so you can engage with your audience. You can use um, storytelling for a great example. For your opener, it's going to be a huge entrance. Second is practice. There will always a reason why we call practice makes perfect because without a practice, we wouldn't know which part of our speech that have a flow. So we could improve it by the time goes and you can improve your um, uh, public speaking skills. Third is you need to engage with your audience. How to engage with your audience? 
you shouldn't be uh, acting like someone who just talking in front of people you need to deliver message to them make an eye contact your body language and don't ever read from the whole paper words by words you can use your cue card for for example so um if you forgot the point of your speaking you could easily see on this cue card without have to distract yourself from the audience fourth is think positively you have to pretend like everyone likes you like every person in the audience likes you why because it's gonna boost your confidence so you will be a confident public speaker and you shouldn't be nervous because you think that everyone likes you you wouldn't fear of judgment is five uh, cope with your nerves breathe it out breathe in breathe it out breathe in you have to calm yourself you shouldn't be you know like uh shaking because the audience will know if you are nervous so they will look down at you and you wouldn't be comfortable at last but not least watch yourself you have to record your speeches before you get into the stage so you can improve which part of your speech that have flaws and you can improve it by the time okay i think that's all the tips that i can give you for now i hope it could really help you we will meet in another occasion thank you for watching goodbye assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hello everyone, my name is Mariam from 12 Science 9 Here, I want to tell you about tips to become a success public speaker I like to focus on what you do before you go into a stressful presentation But of course, inevitably, people are gonna ask What do you do during presentation? If you have that moment where your heart starts racing Your mouth is going dry Your face is getting red you know, probably from your own experience, how quickly that goes into a kind of death spiral. So I want to tell you that first, you actually have to the control to pull yourself out of that, and what you need to do is pause and collect your touch. That's okay, is that not come across a painfully awkward to other people? They actually see it's a sign of confidence. Second, slow your breathing. Make sure it's deep. Trigger that relaxation response. This is about your nervous system speaking you, your brain, and telling you that you are in a safe situation. Another thing that people do when they get nervous speaking is that they start to collapse. They start to touch their arms and touch their face and their necks and they don't move around and they get what we call penguin arms where they pin their upper arms to their bodies because they are afraid. They don't know what to do with their arms. Stop yourself from doing that. And here, how you can do it. The next step, hold something. Have a slight adventure, hold it away from your body, carry a water bottle, or if you are standing at a podium, put your arms on the podium. Do things that force you to hold your arms and your hands away from your body. That will help you to feel more confident and powerful. And it will also signal to other people that you feel powerful and confident. The K is don't let the primitive fight or flight part of your brain take over. You are not going to be very good at telling yourself to calm down. We are very very bad at doing that. But your body can calm you down. So, if you say, calm down to yourself when you are anxious, you go, oh my gosh, I'm really, really anxious. So, you get a kind of rebound anxiety. If you change your body language, you are walking yourself down away from that ledge and that really calms down your nervous system and allow you to regain your composure. Thank you for attention. I hope you become a good speaker in the future. Bye-bye! Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi everyone, my name is Mama Aden Sumaru and today I'm going to share some tips and tricks to become a good student 
Number one, be positive. Always be optimistic at school. You may encounter circumstances that will test your patience and capabilities. Number two, have self-esteem. Do not decide to stand up and speak in front of your class. Be confident with yourself. This will not only be needed at school, but throughout your lifetime. Number three, set your goals. The moment you enter and walk through the gate, be sure of what you want to achieve. Your goals will keep you going and keep you motivated. Number four, participate in activities. Do not just stay inside of your classroom. Try to involve in some extracurricular activities. Being at school it doesn't, doesn't mean it's all about reading. If you excel in academics, try to do the same with the non-academic activities at school. This will also help you increase your social capabilities. Number five, be inspired. Going to school without having a sense of motivation and inspiration will be hard. Inspire yourself in whatever you do, so it will be easier for you to accomplish the things that you want. Number six, make a to-do list. To be organized is one way to achieve success. List down your activities that you need at home, or even the other, or even the other days to come. Your to-do list will serve as a reminder and help you keep track on your progress. Number seven, have self-discipline. Submitting your requirements on time is another form of self-discipline. Being late is not good attitude of study. So get, a free, get rid of all the distraction and do as much you can submit your requirement before deadlines. And then the last one, the most important thing is take a good care of your health. Health is wealth and it's good. So prioritize your health because if you're healthy, you can study well. And then going to school requires a lot of energy. I guess that's it. Some tips for me to become a good student. Hope it helps. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everybody. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sarah Nurul Ainia. Absent number 29 from 12 Science 9. Here, I would like to tell you and show you how to make a coffee milkshake. So, before that, we have to prepare the ingredients and tools. The ingredients that we need to make a coffee milkshakes are coffee, milk, crushed ice, and ice cream. And the tools that we need to make a coffee milkshakes are a glass, a tumbler or a bottle, and a spoon. Okay, let's make the coffee milkshake. First, pour the milk into the tumbler. Okay. Add the coffee. into the glass, into the bottle using the spoon bottle until they are mixed well after they are mixed well like this we can pour it into the glass It's enough. And put the ice cream on the top of milkshake. Okay. 
a glass of coffee milkshake is ready to serve. Thank you for your attention. Wabillahi taufiq wal hidayah. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Let me introduce myself. My name is Sabrina Alvinia. I am from Absent 31, 12 Science 9. In this video, I will show you how to make a milkshake in a simple way. So, let's get started. The materials and tools used are a glass of milk, chocolatos, cheese, ice cubes, a serving glass, and also bottle. And yeah. Let's go to the step. The first step is put milk and chocolatos into the bottle. And then shake it until blended. Pour a milkshake into the glass. And add some ice cubes. And add uh, cheese on top of the milkshake as a topping. By the way, you can put other toppings as you want. And yeah, the milkshake is ready to drink. Thank you for watching, and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.